All right, they're great. We are at our final extension project. This is a fun one. We're going to learn how to write Marshmallow Happier uh, on Google Chrome Music Lab, which is a fun program. But before we get started, I need you guys um, to make sure that you've uh, filled out your assignment checklist. And this is the assignment checklist for my class, but Miss Megan also has one. And make sure that you go to your, your links and make sure you ask yourself, hey, did I finish that assignment? And um, if you're having trouble remembering, uh, you're welcome to email us. But um, this, these assignments are due by Friday, May 29th. So if you're missing assignments, if you don't have most of them done, please go get them done because it will affect your music grade. Okay. So uh, for my class, the links are right there. Uh, Flipgrid links are right here so you can go check them. And then also make sure you fill out your first and last name right here your class letter and then also um, are all of your assignments complete you click yes or if they're not no well, well hopefully not, not no but click yes once you're done okay all right so that's what you need to do and uh, if you're in Miss Megan's class make sure you take care of her checklist as well all right so we're going back to what we're gonna do today uh, we're done with everything now we have our project and we're gonna have a little fun with marshmallow happier let me play it for you so you can hear it So we're going to have a little fun getting up to there. If you want to take it further and write the drum part and write everything else, you can. Um, but the challenge for today is just to get up to that end of that first melody. Okay. So before we get started, um, we're going to have to really, really follow a couple of steps. And um, I'm going to go through these, these steps with you really slow so you can get them. This is Songmaker. It's a uh, Chrome Music Lab song, make, song maker, and uh, the link is there in the um, in Power School. So just click on that link, and it should lead you here. And um, this is a really cool uh, app, or I wouldn't say app, but it's I think it's a website. And you can play drum sounds. You can play uh, other sounds over here, like pitch sounds, and it's really cool. Um, so I'm gonna click on done. If you ever make a mistake, you can just go over here and click Undone, okay? Just as a first kind of like a tutorial tip. Um, let's go down to Settings. And right here at Settings, we're gonna move a couple of things. So make sure you're, you're, you're really paying attention. Uh, the first thing we're gonna move is we're gonna move Length right here. You're gonna move this, it says four bars. And in, in Chrome Music Lab, it says bars, but in music, when you see music, official music is going to be measures. So make sure that you, you know that bars means measures. Okay. We're going to move this all the way up to 16. Okay. Beats per bar, you leave the same, leave it at four. Split beats into, you're going to move this two up to four. So do that. Scale, leave it like that. Start on, middle C, leave it like that. And range, the last one, you're going to move this up to three. So going back, you have 16, four, four, Leave that and then three. Make sure you have it look like that. Okay. Once you have it look like that, you're going to click the check and we are ready to go. Now, what I like to do is I like to come up here. I mean, some of you may not have a Mac, but you, if you have like a computer, try to see if you can find out where the zoom button is. Up here on the Mac, you can click view. And if you just press zoom out right here, it'll look a little bit better for you and the vision is a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to move this over to the side and one tip that I like to do is I like to I like to have two different windows. So I'll have my video window over here so I can see what I'm doing. Right. And then I have my drawing window over here or the Chrome Music Lab over here on this side. So I'm going to work with the first set of colors and each color has a different sound. So my first set of colors is in this column right here. We're going to call this a column and it's orange, green, and purple. So I'm going to look over here and try to find orange, green, and purple. And then I'm going to go to this purple at the top. Let me see if I can find it. So there it is right there. So I could play it and let's hear how it sounds. Ready? I'm going to play it. Nice. So that's how it sounds. 
So um, let's go on and, and move forward with that. You're going to skip a, a column, skip a square. I'll just say square, and then go over here to green. You got it? So that's how that sounds. Then you're going to move over and notice how many squares we have to skip. We're going to have to skip one, two, three, and then there's a purple. So skip over here one, two, three squares, and another purple. And then we're going to go to skip a square and then a green. You can also look at these lines right here too. See these major lines right here? I guide by those as well. This really, really thick line right here. It's green right there. And then the next one is on the third line, after the third line. So we got one, two, three. And then we're going to put a purple there, I think, right? Yeah, purple. And then look at the bottom. We have purple. Oh, wait, actually, we're right here. Green, yellow, and red. So we got look for green. Nope. Green, yellow, and red. So let's hear how that sounds. And always, you always want to check how things sound, so that way, if you if you feel like it's not sounding right, you can you can fix it. Okay, it's really fast. So one of the things that we could do is we can go over here and it says 95. So I'm gonna move this down to 95 like that. And let me hear it again. Oh, nice! It's coming together, it's sounding good. Okay, now we got we're right here in this third line. We're gonna put two greens, but they have to be a space. So we skip a square, green, skip a square, green. And then that green, the second green has purple, light green, and red on the bottom. So it's purple, light green, and red. And then we go to skip a square to light green right here. So let's hear how that sounds. Nice, it's coming together. And so here's a big skip. We're going to go skip one, two, three, four squares and go up to orange. Four squares and go up to orange. Ready? One, two, three, four. And then go up to orange up here in the top. Okay? That's what I like to do. I like to skip the squares first and then go up to the orange. Okay? And then we're going to go down to the red after this line right here. Skip a square, go to red. Make sure you skip those squares. Um, and then we're going to skip down, let's see right here, skip a square, go down to purple, skip a square, go down to purple, and then skip a square, go down to green, no, not that green, this green right here. And you see how it's like really important to go back and forth or just see it, how it's looking right over here? So that's why I like to have two different windows open at the same time. If this is hard for you, then um, uh, email me and I can maybe help you out with it. But it's really important just to have two separate windows, okay? Um, if you're on an iPad, it might be a little trickier. So what you can maybe do is, um, uh, I'm just trying to think, maybe you can draw out the, the grid and then maybe write it out that way. Uh, it's a little harder on iPad, I'm not going to lie. So uh, try to work on a computer. It's, it's a little easier on a computer, okay? Um, and then also, uh, we're going to go to light green right here, skip a square, light green. So let's hear how this sounds. And oh, you always want to check how it sounds. Uh, let, me, let me play it one more time. Um, here it goes. Okay, so it sounds really good. And um, we're going to move on. We have a little bit left. So you can move the video up a little bit more. See right here. Okay, so we're right, right here after this part. We have a green right here. Skip a square, green. Then we go to orange and light green. So down here, orange and light green. Okay, and then we have, I think, three or two. Oh, it's two purple. Two purple right next to each other. You see? Two purple right next to each other. And then we skip one, two, three, four squares and go to an orange. One, two, three, four, go to orange. Then we go to skip ones, go to red, skip one, go to purple, skip one, go to light, uh, dark green, like that. Okay, so let's hear how that sounds.
Ooh, that's sounding really, really close. The last, last part right here. And then you guys can take it however far you want, you want to go. But um, we're right here at the end. Uh, we have, actually, where are we at? I got lost. Okay, here we go. Sorry. We're here at the end. And that's one thing that can happen. You might get a little lost. So just take your time. Uh, this is a project. I don't know how long it took the person that made this video. Um, you can maybe read up on it, but I did. I don't know how long it took the person that made this um, to make it. So as you can see, we're moving by kind of fast. But if you see the whole video, like it's actually a pretty good amount of of work. So you decide how however long you, how how much you want to put into this. But for the beginning part of just using the software, see if you can just write this melody. Okay, so we're right here, and we're right here on this light, uh, dark green right here, and light green and, and orange. So let's go right there, skip a square, go to dark green. Let's go down to the same, same as earlier, and then we're going to go purple, green. And then right here, skip one, two, three, and then a green. One, two, three, light green. So let's hear how that sounds. got it All right. awesome so have fun with this this is uh, only the beginning of the of happier of that song and if you want to take it further you can uh, look into it and it has drums and everything else it has the other kind of like melody the verse part so if you want to write that all out go for it have fun um, I will say that the drum beat, if you're going to do the drum beat, just start it like this. It's going to start right here. And then, so it's going to be a circle, then you skip three, and then a uh, triangle. Skip three, circle, skip three, triangle. That's how you write the drum beat. Okay? So just to help you out with that. All right, boys and girls, it was so nice to have you um, this year. And make sure you um, you have all your assignments uh, finished and have fun with this. It's going to just be kind of like a fun activity for those that are, are finished with everything. If you finish with everything and want to come over here and, and uh, work with SongMaker, you're welcome to it. Um, but please try to get all your work done because that's going to reflect on your grade and uh, get all that done first. Okay? If you have any questions, email Miss Megan or I and we will, we'll be glad to help you. And um, have a great week. All right. Bye-bye.